Welcome to the Steam Bargain Bin, and today we're checking out Despair. I say we, but me, mostly. I'm gonna be checking out this shitty game. It's got mostly negative, made by one publisher and developer. They've made one game, so I'm assuming they had a one-hit wonder. And that's about it. Screenshots. The main character wakes up in a tunnel of the subway and tries to find out what happened to it and other passengers of the train. To understand that to understand that after all it happened to the gone passengers, the player should investigate strange catacombs being deeply underground. Indie horror action first person adventure. Uh huh. Oh, and it was greenlit. This was greenlit. Spare was a horror game a friend gifted to me. I got excited and jumpy to play because I love horror games. Graphics may be crap, but makes the atmosphere of the game creepy. Well, I, I would point out the problems with that sentence, but alright. With a You have a limited flashlight, making you start panicking and scavenging for batteries. I guess you can say I was in despair, XD. It'll stop. I would say I'll, but that's not what that is. It'll stop. Very short game. I didn't rush through. Like I've said, I was very excited and jumpy when I enjoyed it. It was about 20-30 minutes, then to be continued screen came up. Oh, so it's not even complete. It's literally... It's like... Poorly made objectives, and the map made this game a bit boring, to say the least. Okay, but here you said it made it atmosphere... Oh. The game was only scary for like a few cheap jump scares and a chase scene. The rest of the game was nothing else. Bugs like crashing after dying or exiting event, locking your mouse in place for no reason at all. 5 out of 10. Alright, I'm just trying to get this fucking game to work, for, you know, if I can do this. And it's not fucking working. Holy fuck! Holy Jesus! Oh my god! Hold the phone a second. Holy shit. Okay. That's loud. Um. Let's uh, turn that down to about. Let's say right there, that'll work. I don't want to miss this masterful opening that they've created. A little context, I bought this game for nine cents. Nine. I don't even know when, probably like three years ago. I'm assuming I'm this woman. I can't tell if her eyes open or closed. What is she doing? Why is everything blurred? They got this artistic blur on it. Press any key, alright? <laughs> okay. Wait, that was the intro. That wasn't even the game. That was just like a little, hey, guess what you're playing? Alright, let's see your settings. Got uh, basic stuff. Wait, what's low quality look like? Oh, it's shadows. That's literally it. That's the only difference. Okay, so low quality, you get no shadows. Medium quality, you get shadows. And then high quality, same thing. Okay, that works. Um, audio? Oh, there's a... Wait, where'd my mouse cursor go? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, so... That... If you hit this box, your mouse just disappears. Alright. Uh, what's the game button do? Just English or... I'm assuming that's Russian. I I don't know, man. Don't crucify me if that's wrong. I just I'm assuming that little in with a little squiggly thing. I'm assuming that's Russian, but I like to use the letter P a lot, so I'm just assuming that that's fucking Russian. Who knows? Graphics. I mean, like I said, basic resolution quality. Okay, whatever. And you can quit or you can play. I mean, you can't, we don't know that's play, but I'm just assuming that's play, so. And it was. Get this cute little loading screen. And again, I bought this game for nine cents, so I'm assuming the cards are just going to pay for the game, but I've had this since probably like 2015. It's also made in Unity, so uh, that's never a good sign. Unity games are uh, usually the pinnacle of quality for Steam indie games. And this game was greenlit, so that's just the icing on the cake. Ew. Sorry, I just noticed a shadow and it was gross. I'm trying to be quiet for the cutscene. <laughs> oh, cool. 
Alright, so I can play now. Find out what happened. That'd be a treat. Got some generic Unity assets. I'm just gonna assume that they didn't make these. They bought a pack. Also dark as shit. Probably have to up the uh, lighting. Post, but... This game's dark as shit for me. I don't know if you can also... I have a sprint bar at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. And it drains so fast. This is going to be a game where I'm going to run a lot, I'm assuming. Oh, classic. All the lights go out, so now I literally can't see. What, oh, do I go in this door? I'm assuming it's a flat. Oh. Oh, no. The mouse cursor goes outside of the game, and then I can't look around as far. Oh. <laughs> oh, I gotta worry about batteries. Not try to escape. No way out of here. Like the really shitty, like, use burgundy font. And they just, they found a PNG of bloody note. They just stuck it on. And it's, they even try to center it. It's literally just in the corner. So someone was trying to like, they were taking their time writing it. Because if they started at the corner, they clearly weren't in that much of a hurry. I I don't know. I'm critiquing this note way too much. So, okay, I just take it with me. Can't read the book. That. What's that? Ouch. It's not. Jesus. Nobody is to blame for what happened but you. And again, they just took random PNG and slapped it in there and threw this weird font on it. And this is even weirder color. It's supposed to... Sweet. <laughs> so far... For nine cents, I'm not gonna say it's not worth it, because like I said, the cards will pay for it. You get what four cards per game? That's supposed to be in the vents. The door's locked. Oh, they're banging on the door. That's what that noise was. I thought they were in the vents. But no, that's literally, you click on that lock, and then it just gives you the generic, like, Oh look, there's something behind the door. And I feel like there's not going to be a damn thing in this game. What is this animation? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, now we're in the air vent. Press E. I'm not gonna lie, that's like a three foot fall. But like... Actually, I don't know. If this is average human height, right. so we're probably like 5'10, maybe? Let's, let's just say six foot. If we're six foot, that's like about a seven foot drop right there. I know that they use the. There's like an asylum pack or something that's like the generic thing everyone always uses in their game. Wait, it's the same fucking room. I'm actually confused. Is this the same room? Your turn. I actually think this is the same room. Yeah, it is. Wait. What? I want to go back through. So, it played the animation like, okay, um, whatever. My problem with vent scenes like this is that it's supposed to, you're supposed to be immersed into the game, and when I'm spending uh, about five minutes of this just running through a goddamn vent, like it's just not. 
there, there's nothing to say on it. It was a dead end. So now I got to go the other way. I'm going to go all the way back down to the other side of this vent that I just walked through. And then what's going to happen? It's just going to be another guess. Like, which way am I supposed to go? So the real, the real lesson in this is if you're making an indie horror game, don't, don't have a vent unless it's a load. Like, it's going to load to the next zone. Or you don't have to walk for fucking 20 minutes through this goddamn vent. Because it's just not fun. I'd like to point out that if I run out of battery, I don't know what to do. Because I've only picked up one battery so far. And again, I'm not moving this. This is just a cutscene that they thought was very good. So they just left it in here. I'd like to also point out that my flashlight is still draining while that is going on. Cool. <clears throat> Oh, it's like a bloody outhouse. It's, well, it's not an outhouse, but that's like... I mean, people shit there. Where is this? That's something else. Like, where... This is supposed to be in, like, a train station. Like, a subway. Like, this is all underground in some subway. Enter B. Oh, okay, so I did have another battery. This doesn't make any sense. You have these really ugly textures, and then you have like. I'm just following the red pipe. Am I going anywhere? I don't know. Is there going to be a spooky in this game? I hope so. Oh. Sprint, so I have to walk. What do I do here? Anything? Hello? Can't do anything to it? Okay, waste of time. Let's go all the way back. I just don't know what to do. It just says go find out what happens. It's like, yeah, here's a shitty unity map I made. Go. Press E. Zero one one zero. That's a hard combination. You don't get an inventory, so you can't do anything with that. You're supposed to remember that. I mean, not that that's a hard combination. What if you needed to bring that back up? Like, what? Uh, I mean, I doubt you can save. But if you could save, let's say you didn't play this game for, like, eight months. And you're like, wait, what was that code? Shit out of luck then. I don't know why you'd ever want to play this again, but... What am I supposed to do? I want to go in there, because there's a battery in there, and I'm almost out of battery. I mean, why would you? Why would you go in there? I fell in here. I guess I'm stuck forever, right? <sighs> Holy shit, I think I'm actually stuck forever. Oh, never mind. Oh, nope. I'm actually stuck in here forever. I actually can't get out of here. You joking? Can I really? I, <laughs> I'm not. I want to minimize because you know, uh, fucking. Let's have the mouse cursor out of the screen. I'm actually stuck in here. I can't play any further. Like, there's no door. There's no. Oh, I walk through this tiny crack. Whatever. Okay, so we got another battery. So we have at least another five minutes of gameplay. <laughs> Is this a joke? It just, it's the cart and it moved back and forth. Now there's a green thing on it. It is your destiny to be. Be what? Oh, and this is like the fastest you can move. It's just sprinting. But it's like, even if you don't move, your sprint bar still goes down. Oh, a noose. <laughs> I hang myself for playing this game? And you can't walk around it. The asset literally... Maybe you can walk over it. Maybe, maybe I was judging too soon. Oh, no, you can't. You have to, like, glitch through it. 
Oh, he had to stack all these pallets he bought off the asset store right Whoa, the shelf fell backwards. That's crazy. What's that? The valve for something. I should call Valve and ask them why they allowed this on the store, actually. Get the most annoying foot or uh, footstep sound for this, didn't you? Is there even a spooky in this game? This way leads nowhere. There's a bump in the wall because you didn't map this very well. It's not even like you had to do much mapping. You just had to create a few walls, throw some textures up. Go to the asset store and buy all your assets. I kind of hope there is a spooky and it's like actually good and it scares the shit out of me. Not gonna lie, that was the scariest part of this game so far. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, I gotta change my battery. Oh, I can't. Okay, cool. Clean. Wait, this is with the light on. It doesn't even do anything. What? 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 Wait, I'm not playing this. This is a cutscene. There's gonna be a big spooky here. And I can't see it, so... Don't worry, folks, I can't see either. Oh, my flashlight's dead now. Is this still a cutscene? Oh, it is. Is it? I don't... What am I looking at? Where do I go? Am I at the ceiling? Like... Okay, I can't turn the camera down any further. Why is this so dark? Alright, well, that's where I'm calling it. Um, nine cents? Hell no, it's not worth it. Can't even see, like... My screen is just black and gray mixed together, and once once your flashlight runs out of batteries, I mean, you're just fucked. And if you can't find a battery, you can't do anything, so... Not that the flashlight even helped, because once you turn the stupid generator on, it's not like there's... You can see, the lights just conflict, and just causes darkness anyway, so... No, I don't recommend this game for nine cents, but you know, at least I can get the cards that sell for like probably three cents. So I, if I'm lucky, I might make the money back. Maybe. Fuck this game. Oh, and just thought I'd point out that the uh, cards do, in fact, sell for four cents each. So if you get three of them, you can make your damn money back. You know? That's all that's really worth. One of the cards is called The Light. Really ironic, because there's no fucking lane in that stupid-ass game.